My question is actually for both of you. Um, I have a hard time as a strong, confident, most of the time, I'm shaking right now, but most of the time I'm together. I have a hard time letting go of that in relationships. I find that I have to give up something and it's so, everything is almost too much for me to give up. You Analyze. need to find somebody that loves you just the way you are. You have to find somebody where there, you don't have to change or let go. There's nobody <coughs> out there. <laughs> It's hard to find. That's what I would say. Phil has some. What do you want to say? <laughs> well, what she said is true. It, it's easy. It, it, I mean, it, it's, it works much better if you find someone that, that, that values those characteristics of you. But I'll, I'll tell you something else. And that is, you need to trust yourself to be able to handle what you don't control. I what does that understand. mean now? Yeah. Well, I've often said, sometimes you make the right decision. And sometimes you have to make the decision right. And I've been in a lot of situations in my life where I did something really dumb, but I was able to make it okay. Mm -hmm. I was able to make it okay. And I have confidence in myself that if I didn't make the right choice or somebody got me where I didn't need to be, I have enough competency that I'll get myself back up on the road. And, and if you That's believe really in good. that. And that's yes. a lot of the self-image and self-esteem. That's exactly what I meant to say to you. Because <laughs> well, one of the best things that I think I've heard Phil say on this show, really, a well, light bulb moment for me, which I love when I can have one after 15 years. Uh, we were doing a show on relationships, and a woman was saying, how did she begin to trust again? That she couldn't trust, she couldn't trust, she couldn't trust. And you said to her, if you trust yourself, something. Yeah, my, my point is... <laughs> It was a really good point you made about yeah. you, you don't have to worry about what the other person is going to do or if they're going to do this to me again mm -hmm. because you trust yourself enough to know that you are going to do the right thing. Isn't that what you said? I, I did because I, I think there is a natural preservation. It's kind of like we all know our limitations. Right. And there is a tendency for us to never invest more than we can afford to lose. Right. And so if I see somebody going through life like this, you know, they're always on guard. They're always protected. It's because they know themselves and they know I'm so fragile. I can't invest very much. Mm. And, and so you need to work not on the other person, but on yourself because you trust other people to the extent that you trust yourself to be able to handle their flaws and fallacies. If you know, look, I'm resilient. I'm tough. I can handle it. If he screws up, I'll be okay. What I'm saying is an inner peace that says, I really can be vulnerable to you again. Mm. I can open up my heart. I can open up my spirit. Without I can wall. open up my right. mind and let you in. And if you violate that, I'm strong enough to be okay. All right. Thank you very much. And that's much. a very different thing. Very good. Subscribe to the OWN channel today and we'll see you on YouTube.